What's going on, guys? Interesting video today. So today we're going to go over exactly what is tested, what is covered on the geometry related questions on the SAT. So as always, if you go to the description box down below, there is going to be a PDF file which you can download and it's going to outline exactly what you need to know about geometry. It's going to break it down by angles, triangles, trigonometry, circles, everything that's related to geometry is going to be in there. As long as you know those things, you are going to be set. There won't be a single question you can't solve on the SAT math related to geometry. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to outline exactly what you need to know about each of these topics, angles, triangles, circles, trigonometry, whatever. So if you're studying for the SAT right now, the PDF that's linked down below will help you. It will outline exactly what you need to study. But if you want to raise your SAT score faster, you don't want to spend hours and hours trying to identify where these things are in the book, check out SAT Math Accelerator. The program will actually teach you, not just tell you, but teach you everything that is on the list. Not only will you be learning the material faster because everything is in one spot, you don't have to spend time trying to find out where these things are, but you understand that even faster because everything is in the video format. You don't have to read these books and words trying to understand math. That just doesn't work out. You can't read words to understand math. And at the end of the chapter, there will also be a set of practice questions where you can test out your knowledge to make sure you actually understood how to solve these geometry related questions. And these questions are modeled directly off of the actual SAT. So that's the closest thing it will ever get to it. And there's also going to be a video solution explaining every single question. And if you're still stuck, then you can ask me, we can have our weekly meetings to make sure you're going the right way and answer any of your questions. And if the paid version is not for you, then you can just join our free Facebook group link down below and ask me questions and get help there. So if you have printed the outline and smash the like button, let's get straight into this video. All right, let's get started, guys. So angles chapter, what do you need to know? Well, you want to know the difference between vertical and corresponding angles. And when do you see them? Well, when you have parallel lines, there are two different angles, vertical angles and corresponding angles. You want to know the difference between the two. Vertical is going to be two angles that are across from each other and they are going to have the exact same measure. So one and four, same measure. Three, five and eight, same measure. Six and seven, same measure. And corresponding angles are going to be the angles that are on the same corner, same corner of two different parallel lines. So if you look at angle two, it is on the upper right corner of this line and six is also in the upper right of this line. That means these two angles are going to be the same. Same thing for three and seven, five and one, four and eight. Okay, you want to know two of these angles. Next, you also want to know about the total angle formula. And the purpose of the total angle formula is for you to find the total interior angle in any given shape. So for instance, when you have a rectangle, we know that the angles all add up to 360, right? Because total interior angle, we're talking about angles on the inside. So angles on the inside, they all add up to 360. But what about a pentagon? When you have five sides, what is the sum of all the angles on the inside? What if you have a hexagon? What's the sum of all the interior angles? You want to know how to find it so you can answer a question like this. And this is something you will see on the SAT. It's actually the exact question you will see on the SAT. Next, you also want to know what the exterior angle theorem is. And what the theorem tells you is that the sum of the two angles is equal to the third angle's exterior angle. That seems like a mouthful and it's pretty confusing, so let me explain. When you have a triangle like this, right, there are three angles, first angle, second angle, and the third angle. And what the exterior angle theorem tells us is that the sum of two angles, right? So the sum of two angles is equal to the third angle's exterior angle, meaning exterior meaning outside. So third angle's outside angle right there. Does that make sense? So X plus Y, their measure is equal to the third angle's exterior angle, which is Z right there. So formula looks something like that. And if you understand it, you should be able to solve this example to the right. Make sense? Cool. Let's move on to triangle. The first triangle is going to be a very big chapter because it's very, it's tested a lot on the SAT and there will be a lot of things for you need to know. But the first thing you need to know is going to be the side length rule. And if you want to, if you understand what side length rule is, then you should be able to solve these questions. And they are the exact questions that you will see on the SAT as well. Next, you also want to know that within a triangle, there is a direct relationship between angle and the opposite side. So what do I mean by that? 
Well, let's think about a special right triangle, 30, 60, 90 triangle. We know that within this triangle, there is a relationship. The side that's opposite from 30 is going to be x, and side opposite from 90 is going to be 2x, right? But why is that the case? Why is this length bigger than this length right there? Well, that's because there is a direct relationship between angle and the opposite side. Direct relationship meaning as angle gets bigger, the side length will also get longer, and as one gets smaller, the other one gets smaller. That's what direct relationship means. So within this special right triangle, the reason why the side op opposite of angle 30 is smaller is because it's opposite from a smaller angle. 2x is opposite from 90, which is going to be a bigger angle than 30 degrees, right? So direct relationship between angle and opposite side this is smaller because it's opposite from a smaller angle, and this side is longer because it's opposite from 90 degrees. Guys, make sure you really understand this because it's one of those things that are not covered in these SAT books, and it's really important for you to understand it. Don't memorize it, but make sure you understand it, okay? And if you apply the same logic, the equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, you can understand why all the side length are going to be the same and why their angle measures are also going to be the same. If you understand it, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll check it for you. Next, you also want to know special right triangles. So there are two types of triangles you need to know. First one's going to be 30, 60, 90 triangle. Second one's going to be 45, 45, 90 triangle. You want to know the angles and their side length ratios. And if, if the question gets harder, they might give you something like this side is going to be six. What's the length of this hypotenuse? You want to know how to calculate it. Okay. Next. You also want to know Pythagorean theorem. You want to know what the formula is, how to use it, and when to use Pythagorean theorem. So if you know how to use it, you should be able to answer this question. This is like a difficulty two question, but if you understand when and how to use it, you should be able to answer difficulty four or five hard questions. Next, you also want to know what similar triangle is. See, the definition of similar triangles is that when you have two triangles that have same measure of angles, when they have same set of angles, then you know that their side length are going to be proportional, okay? So how the SAT is gonna test you on this is that they're gonna give you maybe like four, five, six, and give you something like eight. Then you wanna be able to know how to solve for this length and this length, okay? So that's what similar triangle is. You wanna know how to find missing side length. Next, you also wanna know how to convert radians into angles and angles back into radians. So what is a radian? Well, radian is going to be the measure of the angle in terms of pi, okay? So radian shows you what the angle is using the pi. So whenever you see something like pi over two, that's going to be a radian because it has a pi in it. And when you see something like 120 degrees, it's going to be an angle because you see the degree mark right there. And you want to know how to convert from angles to radians and radians back to angles. And how you do that is by using this formula right there. Okay. Let's go to the next chapter, which is going to be trigonometry. So when it comes to trigonometry, the first thing you want to know, the main thing you want to know is going to be Stokotoa, how it works and how you can use it to find the missing side length and when to use Stokotoa. And the next thing you want to know about trigonometry is going to be complementary rule. So it's one of those things that are not really covered too much in detail, or if not covered at all, on these SAT Amazon books, right? But you really wanna know it, it's either you know it or you don't. And by knowing these two things alone, you'll be, answer, you'll be able to answer more questions. So let's go over what they are. When it comes to complementary rule, you wanna know these two equations. And these two equations, you wanna understand them, not just memorize them, but understand them in terms of angles and side length, okay? And second, when they give you something like this, this is going to be a Sokotoa, not Sokotoa, <laughs> complementary rule question. And you wanna be able to find out what the value of X is. See, SAT will test you on this. You're gonna see this exact same question, okay? That's what the course is designed on, how the SAT actually tests you on. Next, that's it for trigonometry, but when it comes to volume, the main thing is for you to memorize these formulas, right? So all of these formulas are on the first page of the SAT section three and section four, and just because they are on the first page, many people just say, oh, I don't need to know this. They are on the first page, no need for memorizing. But here's the thing, you will need to memorize these equations. Otherwise you won't be able to solve questions that use these formulas. Like if you don't have these formulas in your head, 
then you won't be able to even recognize that you're being tested on these formulas. It's one of those things that won't make sense now, but it's going to be one of those things that will make more sense as you take more practice exams and you'll thank me for it later. So you want to know those formulas? There are a couple more formulas that you need to know, but this is a good place to get started. Next, when it comes to volume, you want to know what surface area is, right? You want to know the definition of surface area and how to find the surface area of any given shape or figure. So if you know how to do it, you should be able to find the surface area of this cube right here. And the correct answer is going to be 24. Okay. Next, let's go to circles. So circle is going to be the second biggest geometry chapter on the SAT. First, the biggest chapter is going to be triangles. Circles is the second biggest. And a lot of things, but we'll break them down. First thing you need to know about circles is going to be arc length and the sector area. Arc length and sector area are just referring to a portion of a circle. Okay, so if you're finding area of this portion right there, it's known as the sector area. And if you're finding just this length from here to here from the whole circumference, that's known as the arc length. And you want to know how to find these things. Next, you want to know the difference between central and inscribed angle. Okay, so what are they? Well, central angle right there, inscribed angle right there. You want to know the relationship between these two things. Okay, next. When it comes to a circle, you might see circles on just as a shape like so. But SAT will also test you about a circle on a coordinate plane. And coordinate plane is referring to the X and Y axis, right? So for instance, it might have a center right there and it might have a radius like so. But they're, they're not going to give you this. They're just going to give you an equation that looks something like that. And from this, you should be able to identify where the center is and where the radius is. That's what SAT is mainly testing you on. Okay. So you want to know the formula and how to find center and radius. And last but not least, you also want to know what the distance formula is going to be. So for instance, distance formula is right here. And the purpose of it is to find the distance between any two points. Right. So for instance, SAT might give you a question like this. What's the distance between two coordinates, two, three and minus two, seven? Well, these coordinates are going to be two, three, like right there, minus two and seven right there. And they're essentially asking you for the distance between these two points and how you calculate the distance is by plugging it in to this equation right there. This is like the basic thing is some, it's like a difficulty to question. But if you understand how to use the formula, you should be able to solve these difficulty five questions. SAT can't make this question that hard. So that's going to be it, guys. That's everything you need to know about geometry questions on the SAT. If you know everything in here, then you are going to be set. It's all about having the information in your head and connecting the dots and solving these questions. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you would like to see more of these kind of videos, then subscribe to the channel. It really helps. So that's going to be it. Keep prepping, keep studying, and I'll see you on the next video.